Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. Oh boy, fans, are you in for a treat? The new movie is called Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, and Ma Rainey herself is with us, Viola Davis. Viola, actors are sometimes asked to fall in love, to kill, to punch, to drink. What's it like when they ask you to sing? <laughs> <sighs> you know, I, I, I wish I had more time and then I just would have went for it. But, you know, it's like that how to get away with murder schedule. Um, <clears throat> it's a lot. You're putting yourself out there in a way that that is truly... Um, naked you know it's it's probably one of the most vulnerable art forms it's there's no space between you and the audience but you know you sort of feel that way about acting too i mean you don't sort of that's exactly what acting is so <clears throat> yeah and also the performance level of it the sort of channeling this other sort of public hyper um avatar of yourself when you're performing. Certainly that's what the first scene was about. Um, but I have to tell you, it's also very liberating because the audience can sense if there's anything in you that you're holding back. But um, yeah, that's what it is. It's extraordinarily vulnerable. So if Ma Rainey sings the blues to tell her story, what songs does Viola Davis sing to tell hers? Um, <laughs> probably some nursery rhymes. I don't know. <laughs> I was hoping for some Earth, Wind, and Fire or something. <laughs> well, Earth, Wind, and Fire, absolutely. You know, they they were great, but um, you know, probably some sing along nursery rhymes to tell my story because it very very simple and they're buoyant and they're childlike and they're playful and. Um, yeah, I would think so. That'd be different for me. <laughs> you know, actors like to talk about that they want to get lost in their character. Ma Rainey really kind of hid you in the suit and the makeup and the sweat. How comforting is that as an actor to have that to kind of to wrap you around in? It's very comforting because it's Ma. And so then all you have to do, it's, it's almost like the character uh, comes to you at night. She sits there and she's lying in wait. And then you wake up and you just walk into her. That's, that's what you hope as an actor, that you just walk into them, walk into everything they are. And they give you permission to do that. But only if you pay the price of saying, I'm going to give myself over to you and all you are. I'm not going to leave anything on the floor. I'm not going to apologize you know, for you. I'm not going to water you down. I'm not going to be ashamed of you. I'm going to walk into you if you give me permission to do that. And then they give you permission and you have to honor that. You really have to honor it. And, and I cannot reiterate enough how much of who we are as people of color have been put in the hands of people who want to water us down because it's too much. It's too much. The makeup, the, the gold teeth, the size, the sexuality. Um, you know, a lot of times when you see women who are big, certainly big and who are performing, they've got to be funny in order to make people feel comfortable. Um, I, I didn't want to do so much of that because I knew that there were so many other aspects of Ma that I wanted to explore, um, that I didn't want to present another big uh, black funny woman who does dark skin. Yeah. But one of the characteristics which you kind of led me into perfectly is even today when we see sometimes powerful creative women they face obstacles by the power structure that stands in front of them. Yes. And here was a woman that basically knocked it down. She just didn't let it get in her way. Absolutely. And in that way, she was progressive. And in that way, she was liberated. I would call her a liberated woman. But I think that if we were to tell, a, tell the truth about history, which August Wilson set out to do, there were many Black people who had their autonomy and their agency. There were, there were 
tons and probably thousands of stories of insurrection during slavery. There are tons of stories within me and my husband's family of our mothers and our grandmothers and our aunties just cussing someone out, telling someone, you know, telling someone that you've overstepped your boundaries, going into a bar and beating someone's ass who was, you know, who had overstepped their boundaries. We did not grow up with a lot of apologetic people um, per se. It's only through the filter of sort of the white gaze, quote, end quote, that we have become that. But really, in truth, there were a lot of Ma Rainey's back in the day. <laughs> really were. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me gaze at you. I can appreciate that. Viola Davis, the film is called Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. And this is Scott Orland. Until next time.